Would you have Cubs food before like a race? Yeah. Yeah. Fastest, my fastest 10k ran a 34, 30, 49 at Pizza Night before. So it's, you know, a lot of it's mental. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it is very, very mental. So, as long as you're getting your carbohydrate intake is up and your fat intake is really low and you're hydrated. I mean, the world's fastest runners live on corn. You know, Tara Shan did a video saying, oh, I can't eat corn, I can't run eating corn. I'm like, well, the world's fastest runners live on corn. So if you can't say, if you say someone can't run because they eat corn, it's just purely mental. Purely mental. It just, but you don't have to eat like we do. If you prefer the fruits, go with the fruits. Fruit's fantastic. Especially if you can get good quality stuff. Fruit's awesome. I couldn't live on pizza for breakfast and lunch and dinner. You know, I'd, I'd prefer fruit. But vegan pizza's down there when I want it, or rice dishes when I want it, no worries. Dietary, you know, freedom. Need to cook juice. No worries. I can outperform any any raw fitness cyclist or runner at the moment. Yeah, I can run faster than Mike Arnstein right now. He did a 2:57 marathon. I did a 2:48. Faster than Mike Arnstein now. Yeah. Tim Van Orden faster than him. Um, so. You doing ultras too? Not ultras. No. But Mike's Mike's not in shape now to run an ultra. Really? So, no. He's, he's lost a lot of conditioning. And even Mike's, all Mike can't seen fast time anyway, weren't on a 100% raw food diet. He's eating the sports gels and stuff like that, which are basically just like fruit and plastic, it's fine. But we just felt, you know, disgruntled when we get criticised, you know, but they're doing the same thing essentially.